All right, guys, so along with the Bardock event revamp that just dropped a few days ago on JP, uh, several of the great apes also got Dokkan Awakenings. In particular, today we're going to look at our homeboy Tora here, because Tora is definitely uh, the best great ape character. And honestly, like, he is. He may very well be the best giant category character, period. Uh, he's just very, very good once he gets his Dokkan Awakening. Uh, he is a support type unit that will be useful on any team he can be on. He's actually a mini version of Turles because Turles gives 3 key and 40% attack. Uh, Tora here gives 3 key and 30% attack. So it is a 10% attack difference, but it's very rare for support type units to give 3 key. Usually they give 2 key. That extra key is actually a big deal. So that's going to make Tora look pretty good. Now, he's pretty solid on the giant category team. He That will kind of give him uh, an added ability where he can uh, heal, uh, you know, based upon how many uh, giant category members are on the team. Now, I'm actually going to use him on the pure Saiyan team, which is like, it's, it's just a much better team, right? It's actually a better place to show him. The only thing we're missing out by me showing him on the pure Saiyan team over the giant category team is just his healing. But like, you know, it's healing. Like, you guys know he does it. It's not really that relevant to show it in today's video so let me go ahead and level this guy up and we will hop into an event all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and hop into an event with this team right here this is a pure saiyan team based entirely around lr super saiyan 3 goku uh tora is going to be a phenomenal linking partner uh for lr super saiyan 3 goku giving him a total of five key, which will be obviously very, very helpful. LR Majin Vegeta also gives Super Saiyan 3 Goku three key, or five key, and so does uh, the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. So all in all, it, it's just a very good uh, key team for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So I think we can kind of let him uh, run wild. Now I will put him on a rotation along with uh, LR Majin Vegeta. Of course, any key from the map right here for that Goku is so good. Uh, so Tora will help with this too because we're just it, it's a full team of units that are just going to be cycling key for him and it should allow us to get through uh, a lot of events rather quickly. I think the other thing I'll do is I will keep both Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas on the same rotation together. Chances are high that one of them will go ahead and transform for us uh, on the first turn. They're eligible on the fourth turn. Uh, and so with that, they will be able to actually link, but until then, uh, they won't be able to link very well together. So this, I, I kind of like the idea of this team. Let's see how, uh, you know, it actually works out like in practice here. So we'll just have the two blue Vegetas just sit here uh, on, on a rotation together. And then that will keep them uh, away from LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because of course, uh, the blue Vegetas, they don't actually share uh, any links with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So I don't want to have a situation where uh they uh the blue vegetas sort of bring uh super saiyan 3 goku down now at the same time like once we're able to get tora uh near uh lr super saiyan 3 goku that's kind of where we could see like the big benefits of his uh sort of passive buff that he's gonna give the three key and 30 percent attack i think we'll oh no you did not just do that oh tora that's not what we wanted. Okay, I do know how I wanted to get my rotations together, though. So, that was LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku right there. So, let's push him right there. Oh, shoot. I think Tora was in the first slot. I hope Tora was in the first slot. Because uh, when Tora comes back around, I do actually want to get him... Uh, like, I, I want to see a super attack with him, right? Before we actually, uh, you know, <laughs> finish up the video, finish up the showcase. Whatever you want to call it. Only thing about this Grade 8 batch that I think was disappointing is their super attack animations are just the same recycled garbage we've seen forever with the Tora, Fasha, and all of them cards. Uh, okay, so that's LR Majin Vegeta. Let's get him to the back of the line so that he will link up with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and stuff. I don't actually want to... Actually, you know what? Let's get a super attack with Tora. Uh, I, I, at first, I was like, eh, not really a big deal to get a super attack with Great Ape Tora, but we'll go ahead and do it. Uh, remember, the Great Apes can now have their potential system buffs. Uh, active here, but 
My Tora is only 1% in the dupe system, so it's not really going to have an effect on him. Uh, I get all of my units to 1% in the dupe system. It's just kind of like a, a thing I do, right? So, well, that's it. What? I swore I definitely moved LR Majin Vegeta uh, in the right. That was weird. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, so let's have Tora go first. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we'll get a super attack from Tora. And then LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is looking very good uh, in between Kaioken Goku and Tora. Again, the links are all designed very well for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku to just go to fucking town. Four million attack set. <laughs> Goodbye, my son. <laughs> Goodbye, Blue Goku. Uh, what are the chances I'll have to use an item here? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use an item for sure. So we'll go ahead and pop a Ghost Usher right there. Uh, so that way our boy Goku cannot one-shot us. I still actually do uh, like that about this event. Uh, the fact that Goku can one-shot you. I think it's a nice little, like it's a nice little fun gimmick, right? Like keeping everything from being just completely stale, completely all the same. Like, you know, the Turles boss fight is like so boor like boring basically. Just absolutely tear through it. Or the future Gohan boss fight. Same thing. Kind of boring. But, you know, the Ultra Instinct Goku fight. Like, once he becomes Ultra Instinct, he's hitting so hard. He's immune to everything. And then he has this nuking stage where he can one-shot you. It's a very well-designed fight. Still the best one uh, in the game, I think. Uh, I'm very curious to see if the upcoming uh, Goku or Frieza Dokkan Fest events are difficult or not. I, I don't know. I don't know. They, they could be. I presume what's going to happen for them is, like, it'll probably be, like, six-phase fights for both the Dokkan Fest, Goku, and Frieza. Like, Goku will probably go base, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, God, and then Blue, and then Frieza. Well, I guess Frieza doesn't have six forms. Well, he does. He could go full power, Frieza, but... Because Goku's SSR art is base form, and then TUR, he's a Super Saiyan, but Frieza is just first form both times, so that is one uh, difference there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna move Tora out of here because Tora would get absolutely torched by uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. So I don't want to leave him uh, to just get bodied on that level. I think Turles is probably gonna get fucked up too, but not to the point where we're going to die. Hmm. You know, I'm actually tempted to use an item here because. Will Ultra Instinct Goku do a lot of damage to us? I don't know. Uh, if LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku gets a crit, uh, he might one-shot UI Goku. Uh, I'm actually going to use uh, a, a King Yama right here. Because I, I don't know. I can't guarantee that Turles would be able to reduce enough damage that we would be A-OK. -okay. And then, of course, Tora doesn't have dupe system buffs. Okay. If, if he's doing 92 to Turles, then I think we would have been fine. Uh, I was just being a little extra cautious right there, and clearly I did not need it. But again, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, he could definitely one-shot uh, UI Goku, provided he crits, because he is getting a 40% attack buff from Turles, and then a 30% attack buff from Tora, so equals 4.8 million. Pretty damn fucking good. Oh, and then look at that. <laughs> he didn't even do a million damage, because <laughs> he didn't crit. Uh, I wonder, it would probably be a better rotation for LR Goku if it Majin Vegeta was there. I think he would probably end up doing more damage. Also, I'm pretty surprised that we have not gotten a transformation from one of the Blue Vegetas. That is very, very rare. Uh, Blue Vegeta routinely will transform constantly. So, it's kind of creating a little bit of a situation here where usually, like, I would have, you know, one of these fuckers able to link up with the other one. But right now, their links uh, still aren't really working like that. But it's okay. It's okay. I actually kind of really like this team design. I think the only thing is... I might... I like to 100% units I'm going to use. So I actually might Rainbow Tora. The only reason I didn't actually Rainbow Tora now is because I do want to let the upcoming celebration hit. Like, I have a bunch of units who are already at 99% in the dupe system... Uh, and I'll 100% them and do videos on them in the coming days. But I don't I don't think I'm going to get any extra units 
uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna rainbow, like, right now until, like, the actual celebration hits, right? Because I do want to make sure I will be able to rainbow all of the uh, necessary units that come out, you know, in the coming weeks. But then again, we also are getting three Paranga Wishes, so we're gonna be getting enough orbs to rainbow a unit of every type uh, from all of those Paranga Wishes, so that'll be cool. Uh, okay, so now, boom, there we go. Now we have the rotation of LR Majin Vegeta plus LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the death rotation on this category right here. So now the two of them can really, really just tear through here. You know, speaking of Majin Vegeta's final explosion right there, I really do want to see uh, an Evolution Blue Vegeta card come out that has the final explosion. I think we all do that. That would make for... What? This fucker! Yo! <laughs> we have been in this fight for so long, and Tora transformed twice. That's crazy. Uh, I know they did this update for Great Apes, which is nice, but if you don't have the Great Ape rainbowed, it's they're still just as bad and slow as ever, because Tora's not going to do much damage to you, Hi Goku, bro. <laughs> UI Goku does not play that shit. You know, while fighting him, I'm also curious. The LR Goku and Frieza uh, LR. I'm thinking that they will probably be a Dokkan Fest LR. Uh, that would be one reason to explain why they are oh so good, right? You know, looking like the best unit in the game right now. Uh, but if they're not... Uh, if they are not a Dokkan Fest LR... They probably will awaken with medals from, like, UI Goku, Physical 17's event, uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, his event, uh, Jiren's event, possibly. But then again, if the unit will come out on Global and JP at the same time, Global does not have Physical Android 17's event, or Blue Vegeta's event, or even Jiren's event. So, hmm, that also does lead uh, credence to the fact that I do think they're going to be a Dokkan Fest LR, and they would have their own, you know, boss event with that. Okay, so here's a pretty good rotation right here. We got Evolution Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and we got our boy Tora. So, this is going to be fine. Uh, do I need to use... Okay, I'm actually going to use a Princess Snake right here. That's just to protect Tora at the end. Again, like, uh, when going through the UI Goku boss fight... If you have any units that either don't have a lot of hidden potential system buffs or they're just not defensive units in general, you can't let them get hit too often here because UI Goku will tag. Like, Toro right there, I'm pretty sure UI Goku would have tagged his ass for, like, a good 50k on a normal. So, you know, he's getting hit, what, three times? Toro would have taken 150k all to his own. And then even... You know, one of the blue Vegetas would probably take uh, over 100k damage if UI Goku supered them. So, you know, if UI Goku had supered Tora, I sure would be close to 200k. So, I actually probably did need to use an item there to 100% guar guarantee that I'd walk out of the turn uh, alive and good. Uh, remember, also, Evolution Blue Vegeta, after he transforms, every time he attacks, he raises his chance to crit. And then Normal Blue Vegeta, every time he attacks... Uh, he raises his defense. Look at that. Still 20k, even with the Princess Snake active. Uh, UI Goku certainly is a behemoth of a boss. Um, I don't... I shouldn't need to use uh, items here. Uh, UI Goku will be able to hit us hard, but... I mean, these are rainbow LRs, so they, they'll be good in terms of uh, defense. I really want to see... Okay, cool. LR Goku can finish him off. Give us one last crit. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku before we finish up here. 3.4 million, not bad. I love, you know, just casual 3, 4 million attack stats every single time. No crit to finish it off, but still enough damage. Got the medals, finished up. I like Tora a lot. And again, after the 250 million download celebration kicks off, depending on what units we might get, uh, I probably will rainbow that Tora. Uh, three key and 30% attack to all allies with no restrictions is just so valuable. And any category that Tora is on, like, he's going to be very, very useful. So, giant category, pure Saiyan, and low class warrior category. Again, I do like to, uh, you know, rainbow units I'm going to use in different categories. 
So the fact that Tor, like the low class warrior category is probably eh, like second worst in the game. The Mechian is probably worse. But like getting another rainbow solid unit on that category would be cool. Especially if they end up having turning that into either A, a real category team, or B, it has a category super battle road stage, right? So this right here, this is low class warriors, great fight, Tora Giant Ape. His leader skill is EGL and SCR type key 2 and HP attack and defense 50%. So, nothing too crazy there. Super attack is the flame bullet, which does supreme damage and lowers attack. Could be useful on, I guess, something like Super Battle Road. Uh, his passive skill, the team's guide. So, he gets all allies, key 3, and attack 30%. And then, if he's on the giant category team... Uh, well, actually, it's not even on the giant category team. But, he recovers 6% HP per giant category uh, ally on the team up to 18%. And then he also does have the chance to turn to the Giant Ape two times. So I suppose one thing you could do is maybe on the Pure Saiyan team, toss on the Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku. He is a giant category unit, and then Tora will begin uh, healing at that point. So that's a possibility of something you could do. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, the Saiyan Lineage, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shouting Limit. One good thing he does have that I didn't really show in today but i could have is that he does have saiyan pride with uh lr manja and vegeta and he is he is actually a pretty good uh linking partner also with the super saiyan fours because he does have saiyan roar so tora would be a very interesting like super saiyan four team build you could do with the pure saiyan category we have you know uh the two super saiyan four gokus super saiyan four vegeta you could have tora GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then obviously you'll have the blue Vegeta as your leader. That could be an interesting team build. Uh, I might look into doing that at some point. Just have Saiyan Roar across the board could be pretty cool. Uh, so his links are, are kind of okay. Like, Shattering Limit, Saiyan Roar, and Saiyan Pride are three links that will help him a lot on the pure Saiyan team. So I I'm not really against that too much. 12 key multipliers, 140%. That's, you know, what we'd expect. And he does have three categories. Uh, he's on the low class Saiyan category right here. Uh, in the running for worst category in the game. Uh, he is also on the giant category of course. Also in the running I think unfortunately. Still for one of the worst in the game. But Tora being like his big buff. And on that category that helps it out a lot. Uh, and then of course we also have the pure Saiyan category. Which is definitely the best team for Tora. Even though. He has some added abilities if there's giant category units on the team. Your best look at this unit is going to be on the pure Saiyan team for sure. So, we'll go ahead and end it there. Thanks for watching, y'all. I will get to the other Bardock units soon. And I'll catch y'all next time.